thank you for coming. I'm Van Goodwin, uh, Chief President of the Chamber. Thank you all for coming. Uh, we have like so much going on right now. I actually had to, I usually go off the top of my head, I actually had to make a list here today. <laughs> so I, I'm usually good at not forgetting stuff, except that one time, Jesse, I forgot you. Sorry. Uh, so thank you everybody for coming. Um, first off, in the, uh, this is a great location with the venue here, this nice open space. Everybody can see us having fun here. I want to thank EDO, first of all, for hosting us here. And I will let, actually, let, uh, thank you. Yes, please, clap. <laughs> Chamber of Commerce. Um, so it, we're not necessarily a chapter of them, but they are the national affiliate. And if you are interested in having your business certified as LGBT owned, they are the certifying body for that. And you can talk to me or either one of them for more details about that because my business is, and it has actually been pretty valuable for me. So if you have questions about that, please don't hesitate to ask either one of us. So just throwing that out there. Put that as well. Thanks, man. Sure. Um, all right. So next, I would like to go on to a couple of other announcements, but first, thank you to the sponsor of this event for the year, which is Wells Fargo, which has chosen to sponsor it for the entire year. And um, in addition to sponsoring it, uh, we actually have a couple of events coming up with Wells Fargo, and an exciting giveaway, which we'll do like right after we talk about that. So I know we all love those. So Jesse, if you wanna just take it over real quick. Hi guys, so my name is Jesse Pendergraft. I'm a business banking specialist with Wells Fargo at our DeSoto location in Logan Circle. Um, so part of our community support uh, month, we are working with the Wanda Alston Foundation. The Wanda Alston Foundation is very similar to Smile, um, in the sense that they work with at-risk LGBT youth. We're hosting a fundraiser to honor their sponsors. That's going to be on September 25th in conjunction with the CAGLCC, as well as their sponsors, their corporate sponsors are going to be there. Um, it's going to be a great event. You should guys show up mingle, get to know some of the things that they're doing for the organization. There's also opportunities to donate to the organization to help them to get their funds on the ground and continue to grow as an organization. The link is going to be posted on the advert that Van, I believe, is going to be posted. Yes, yes we can yes. send that out tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll send that out tomorrow. Um, the other thing that we're doing is, um, on a quarterly basis, all of the banking institutions, so the major corporate institutions specifically, like Wells Fargo, Bank of America, BBT, PNC, and others that have slowly started to sift into it, are hosting a Banker Pride event, which is free to attend, you don't need to register. Um, it's hosted at the Dirty Goose, and 20% of the proceeds go towards a nonprofit organization that helps with an LGBT youth or LGBT organization specifically. This, this sponsorship is gonna go through Smile this month, and that's on September 19th. It's from 6.30 to 9.30. Like I said, 20% of the proceeds go to the organization from the bar, and there's a $10 suggested uh, donation at the door. Our hosted event is also gonna be on November 14th, 
and that is also going to include the Wanda Austin Foundation. So um, feel free to look that up on the Goose's website. It will be a early sign-up event, or at least something that's going to let you know what it is, where it is, how long it's going to be, and what you can do to help support. Mm -hmm. um, and I am going to actually turn it over to my colleague, Mr. John Garcia, for the rest of this. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse, for all that important information. So hopefully we'll see a lot of you at Bank of Pride and the Wanda Ashton uh, Found event um, on the 25th. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, also, <laughs> well, as you'll know, my name is John. Uh, this is Michelle Mobley. Um, we are also part of Party for a Purpose. Um, we are a nonprofit or group that was established four years ago. Um, and Michelle is actually one of the founding members, so I just want to turn it over to her to explain a little bit about Party for Purpose. Thank you. Thanks Thanks. so much. So, um, a group of friends, we decided that we really want to get back to the community, but we in our busy lives don't have a lot of time. So, but it's important to us. So what we did is we're like, let's form a nonprofit and let's raise money for the best way we know how, and that's by getting our friends drunk. <laughs> and so, that's how the idea started. Let's do what we do best. And so what we do is we hold two fundraisers a year and we choose a charity to benefit that. We try to focus on charities that work with homeless youth, charities that directly the money goes into the DC um, city of DC. And it's very small. So we don't grant make to large organizations. We try to focus on smaller groups that don't really make a difference because we raise money in increments of 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 off these events. So we want it to mean something within the community that we live. Um, I'm glad you guys are supporting Wanda Austin Foundation. They were actually our charity three years ago and one of the first ones that we were able to do a sizable donation to. So I think that's wonderful. Um, this year we're working with a group called Soul Students, Organized to Understand Leadership. And what they do is they focus on children in wards seven and eight. Um, and help them with after school programming and studies to help them get to college. But they do more than that. They actually help them apply for scholarships so that they can afford to go to college. Their last two valedictorians were homeless. So if you're homeless, you've worked your butt off, you've done your grades, but then it would have to be kill your dreams to not then be able to afford school. So they help them find ways to get to college and then support them once they're there through book stipends, um, living stipends, and things like that. So the money we raise from this upcoming wine tour will direct, directly benefit those children. So, we are hoping you will come drink with us. <laughs> the uh, date is September 22nd. It's just like a week and a half away. We have a bus pickup in DC, a bus pickup in Virginia. It takes you out to the Virginia Wine Company. We're, country. We're doing two wineries. The first one, it's really unique. They're doing the actually stomping of the grapes that day. So it should be really fun. So, your ticket fee includes transportation, Mermose is on the bus on the way out, so that way if you don't like Virginia wine, you won't taste it. Um, once, you, once you get there, you'll have your tasting, you can stomp some grapes, lunch is included, then we go to the next winery, we do a tasting, we give you a snack, we have raffle prizes, we have lots of fun, lots of great energy, and we have about 20 tickets left, yes. is what we have, and so we're hoping to sell out, we sold out last year, and there was actually, we came and spoke at this event, last year and we had about 10 people come wow, to the yeah. event. So we're hoping, it's a great place to network. We're all young professionals. I would say 90% is LGBT because 90% of our committee is LGBT. Yeah. So um, we really would love to see you there. I have these little cards with information you can buy online. So please support us and help support these children in Ward 7 and 8. Yes. All right, we have one more very brief announcement, and then we're going to come back to the giveaway, which is kind of associated with the event that, uh, that we just discussed. Um, as, you, as many of you know, like we've had some increased engagement with uh, local governments recently and some increased interest, and we're trying to get more engaged in some advocacy efforts. And as part of that, um, we've been inviting certain public officials here to engage with the community and give you a chance to engage with them and ask questions. So I'd like to uh, introduce Councilwoman Alyssa Silverman real quick to say a couple of words. Okay. <laughs> so first I want to thank uh, Van and Walter uh, and, and Walter.
Walter De Leon for um, inviting me. Um, so I'm Alyssa Silverman, I'm an at-large council member, I'm chair of the Labor and Workforce Development Committee on the DC Council. So how many district-based businesses do we have here? Okay, great. And Maryland and Virginia? Okay, you should move into the district. <laughs> okay, but eat, like, go out to dinner, spend some money, so we can get fix the potholes that you'll be riding. Um, so let me, I just want to say a few things. Thank you, um, Van. Um, so I chair the Labor and Workforce Development Committee, um, and a real focus of mine is about making sure that we have a um, good uh, pipeline of workers for your businesses. Um, what I say is that we should be focused as a city on making sure that we are educating and supplying um, and preparing our residents for some of the great jobs that you have. Um, so I'm really interested in working with you on that. Uh, and certainly, especially if you're in some of our high demand industry sectors, whether that be healthcare or IT, um, construction, um, any kind of hospitality industry, customer facing industry. Um, I am very focused on making sure that we prepare people for the hard skills, but as well, one thing I constantly hear from employers uh, and people who hire is the soft skills, making sure that folks know how to show up on time, how to communicate well, how to deal with conflict, <laughs> that that ends up being one of the biggest obstacles to employment, especially for sort of our lower skilled job seekers. Um, so one of the other things that um, I can probably we can probably chat a lot about is so that's that's a big focus of mine. Another big focus of mine is the four-letter word agency DCRA. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I thought I got a reaction. Um, so that is in the committee of the whole, but I, along with Chairman Mendelson, have been very very focused on DCRA and trying to make it work for you. I I, I am. I would love to hear your stories about, I'd love to hear if it actually did work for you, <laughs> but I probably know there's been a lot of stories about how you've had to wait for permits, wait for licensing, um, and in my opinion, that does us a disservice economically, right? It costs you time and money, and it means that we, it costs us time and money, frankly. Um, so I'm very focused on DCRA, and then, I, uh, so I would just say, and I'll wrap up, and then man, we have a few questions. Um, I focus on the big stuff, I'll just be honest with you. So workforce development, uh, things like DCRA, education and housing. How many people think it's too expensive to live in the District of Columbia? <laughs> okay, every hand should probably be up, unless you have a really great rent control department somewhere. Um, but, uh, you know, one of the concerns that I have is that um, businesses are going to locate here partially because too expensive to live here. Um, so making sure that housing is affordable and using every tool we have. And I think I looked through the list of folks. I think there might be some real estate folks as part of this yeah. association. Um, but partnering with you to sort of strategically use our resources to make sure this is an affordable place for everyone is a big focus. So I'll leave it at that. And I just want to thank you. Especially, especially our district-based businesses, and then the Maryland, Virginia ones that are going to learn in here. Well, thank you. And she did graciously offer to uh, stick around after if anybody, if anybody wants to come and ask questions and talk about um, business and employment uh, in the district. You know, please feel free to do so. You'll be floating around. Um, I'm, we're not quite done with you yet. Oh, I'm not. Okay. Would you, would you, would you mind moving this paper? Sure. Okay. Oh, do I get to pick something? You get to pick something. Okay. So, so as you know, we have a raffle in conjunction with uh, Party for a Purpose. And what I have here is a list of the 35 people in random order. That uh, the 35 members who registered for this event in random order. So if you're not a member, join. And if you are a member and you didn't register, register next time. Uh, <laughs> if you want to be on the list. But we have 35, but 36 people. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to ask you to randomly give me a number between 1 and 36. Okay. And for the 35 of you who did not get it, you can blame DC government. <laughs> 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 That's 
Yeah. Okay. 38. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Dennis Kahn. Long time member of Coke leadership. Welcome back. You get a bottle of wine. Just come up here. Come on up. All right. I will choose number one. Number one. Marguerite, where are you? Oh, Marguerite. And finally? Finally, let's choose uh, 32. 32 is. Robert Dodge, no, he's not qualified. Uh, Robert Dodge, yes, yeah, sorry. Ooh. There you go. Robert, very short there. Thank you for coming, Robert. My pleasure. Um, and you get free wine out of it, so don't see you. Never should be. You can get more wine from the wine By the way, those 50 people that registered, I, I know about four or five of them, and they just kept on raving about that event. And they're, and they're coming back then this year. Yeah, so that should tell you something. Um, all right, so thank you everybody for coming. We, we're still here until 8.30 or so, so please continue, network, um, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you.